Retired couple Grace and Emmanuel survive on money sent home by two of their children, who smuggled themselves into Italy several years ago. Their immediate priority is to build a new house. This one, in an abandoned neighbourhood in Nigeria's Benin city, is in danger of falling down as Swampland reclaims the area. So as they did there, now, now make us see We're surviving now. because they're over there. Now then. We eat because of them. My work, my food, it all depends on them, on the money they are sending. More African migrants crossing the Mediterranean come from Nigeria than any other African country. And most of the 37,000 attempting the journey last year were from Benin City, pushed by poverty and unemployment. In 2015, the Nigerian diaspora transferred 21 billion US dollars back home. Emmanuel is building a large house for a client who went to Italy 10 years ago. If not for the overseas, I don't think this would be possible. Edo State, of which Benin City is the capital, wants to create 200,000 jobs, like this, to stop people taking the illegal route abroad. We prefer to have our young ones being celebrated outside for skills that they earn in Nigeria and they, we get the dollar out of it and get the pounds out of it. Then uh, our, our young ones going through Libya waters to get to Europe. That we don't want. The fear is that the younger generation would rather chance their luck abroad than build a future at home. And if that continues, the city is effectively digging itself into a hole.